Good morning, traders. How are you guys doing? It is Friday. We are not doing videos for the next two days, um, so make sure you guys do watch this full video update, and make sure you guys are subscribed. Um, currently up $11,014 this morning, so we're moving back just a little bit. That's totally okay. Um, these are some other withdrawals we've taken in the market. So this is going to be an exciting weekend. Uh, I do want you guys to know that we are going to be going over the metrics today, so we're going to go over the emotional index, the long versus short trades, long for short trade risk, well in institutional smart money, support resistance prices, dollar cost average entries, and exit points. We are going to be going over that today. But first, just wanted to give a couple congratulations out, if you guys don't mind. I thought it'd be fun to do this on Friday. You guys did so well this week. These are just a few. I ended up blocking out the names just to protect their identity. But um, this individual, he said, yo, just letting you know I made $13,600, I think, when ADA wick down to 201. This is a, a trade call that you guys were able to take on our website at tradeconfident.io. Um, that took profits at 255. So great job for making $13,600 on that single trade call. Here's another individual here. I blocked out his name here. Just wanted to share with you my profits. I made 4,819.42, hitting my limit order for DOT a week ago. So he was using our metrics and our live trade calls. I was also able to get into two limits for ADA, buying the dip sold for 50%, $2,148 later in profit. And he showed me his um, exchange results down here. Last Last one here, guys. Um, just want to let you know that I appreciate your work. Um, you uh, actually took all the stress out of my trading by giving me a system that works. By the way, I made $30,000 in just two days without even um, doing much except putting my live trade setups just like you teach us. Awesome, awesome. Just wanted to throw out a couple of those. What he is talking about there, guys, is over at this website, this is what people are doing. You go to pricing, click this, it's $49 a month, and they are doing this. They're going over to the front page under live trades, and they're just clicking in here, and they're setting the buy limit. So um, I'll go over Ethereum today, but here's just an example if you guys wanna jump on this, like do this today and get your buy limit set up. So for Bitcoin, every day at 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, these charts update. Like the whole website actually updates every single day at 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. This morning, you are going to see the buy limits changed for Bitcoin, just so you guys know. So we'll be updating here in about an hour and a half. Simply just find the, the current price or where the white dotted line is at 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Put your four buy limits. I have no idea why we turned it red. It's just so weird. <laughs> Put your four buy limits in at the four yellow lines below the current price. If you have $1,000, split it up 25% portions each. So $1,000, you do 250, 250, 250, 250. Guys, that is all we're doing and we are using really good risk management and we're using the metrics and the indicators to help call profitable exits once we're in trade. So that's what we're doing, guys. And um, I've been doing it. We haven't lost a single trade on this channel yet. We've taken 32 trades and we're doing really well. So congratulations, guys, for those of you who are, are following us. Okay, let's take a look at this. Um, Make sure you guys are subscribed so you get the entries here. But I want to go over this today going into the week and the well money flow and the trend exhaustion. Take a look at this. I want us to spend just a little bit of time looking at the bottom section here when we get into the bottom red and the, the top red. I'm just going to pull a few here so you guys can see um, the accuracy of this. I know I've done this before, but this will play in to this weekend's analysis. And I know you guys, if you haven't seen my channel before, we do this on almost every single video because we, we need to be seeing what's happening in the past. Okay, this is enough in here. All right, take a look at when this moved down to the bottom red zone. Follow my crosshairs up here. It called the bottom here and we headed straight back up after that. Take a look at this. It called the bottom right here and we moved straight up after that. Like these aren't small moves, guys. Let me get a percentage out here real quick and um, let me get a price range. Uh, there it is, price range. So these moves in here are about, you know, 11 to 10 to 11 percent 11.53 percent so very good moves in the market we saw this happen down here this consolidation down here in the red zone perfectly called the consolidation point here and we hit it up right after that literally right after that okay bottom red zone here we saw a little bit of consolidation a little bit of a dip down but ultimately we saw this very nice move back up we saw this call the bottom here a lot of us got tagged into these bottom positions um also on the first buy limit here for ada we got tagged in literally at the rock bottom position here and we started moving back up okay taking a look at this over here we are seeing this is calling the top before it moves back down if not we get over extensions and we really start moving down Take a look at this, this is called the bottom here, excuse me, the top before we move down. Taking a look at this, this is also called the top before we saw move back down. So on and so forth, call the top here before I move back down. Call the top here before I move back down. All right, it is it is the most accurate indicator um, I've ever seen on, on TradingView. I've coded in indicators for TradingView for a living, actually two to three years ago, and this is the most accurate indicator. Why do I take you through all that to show you the accuracy? It's because we are getting very close down to the bottom red section here. Over the weekend, if this can push down to the bottom here, even after today, guys, 
bottom section, I am expecting to see some type of springboard action on um, basically all the coins if we can get down here to the bottom because I know Bitcoin Ethereum will start pumping this up a little bit here. Let me give you guys a quick look here at Bitcoin and we will go over the metrics. This is sitting at the top here while Ethereum is sitting at the bottom. So much kind of interesting things going on where Bitcoin is completely flat right now while Ethereum is heading down. So if Bitcoin can get a little bit of a jump in here and actually get some bullish momentum and Ethereum springboards off this, this could actually be a weekend where we start heading up in price. So watch that over the weekend. If we start pushing down here, I do expect to see a little bit more of a rebound up. Also something I want to point out to you guys is that the well money flow, when this comes down into the bottom section here and it gets down very low, this is places where the wells are looking to actually get into the market and ride this back up. This is coded to look at large transactions on the blockchain for Coinbase based off the ticker that you're on for Ethereum. So make sure you guys have these indicators. They are in the description as well as over at the website here. And you guys can snag this right here under the trend exhaustion, price versus well money flow, the trend dashboard. Guys, the bundle deal is the best thing to do. Just go ahead and snag this. You guys get access immediately. You get source codes to everything, get the indicators for life. Just watch this real quick. I want you guys to pay attention to this. Money is flowing into the market while price structure is moving down. So we could actually see this move down a little bit further and I'll be going over that. But this could actually start reversing the market here where money starts flowing back in and we start moving back up here. We are at the structure low right here, which we could start seeing a little bit of a bounce from. So just watch that, all right? Let's go over the metrics here for Ethereum and then we're gonna um, finish up this video with uh, trade entries for you guys over the weekend, okay? So the emotional index is sitting down here into the neutral section. Again, this will update at 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. This updates every single day at 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, even over the weekend, okay? So if this starts pushing down closer to the anxious or the fearful section, guys, this is so good for us. I've gotten emails yesterday and I'm like, yes, they're finally getting it. Guys, you're emailing me and you're like, Travis, I hope, I hope Ethereum in the market keeps going down. I'm like, okay, finally they get it. Like guys, we have three other buy limits. This is not obviously where they're placed, but we have three other buy limits in here. We want the price to go down so we get tagged into more buy limits. A lot of people are market ordering in right here with their full position and they're just gonna start losing on their full position all the way down if this thing keeps dropping. We still have three other buy limits to get hit on Ethereum. This is incredibly good risk management, guys. This is why we haven't lost a trade yet. I have a lot of people now with 100,000 plus dollars all the way up to a million dollars who are emailing me and they're like, Travis, I finally understand what you're doing. This makes sense. We're, we're doing far more than the S&P 500 per year and it's extremely safe for you guys to enter your money in here, okay? I think people have been waiting for a strategy like this that it's extremely safe for them and we haven't lost a trade yet. It's because of the risk management. Okay, let, let's just keep going here. Okay, long versus short trades. Guys, short trades are still ridiculously high in this exchange and for Bitfinex. This could still be pushing Ethereum back down. And they're like, okay, we, we dropped the market out here. We moved back up. Short trades still stayed extended here. So we could be pushing down. I will be going over the targets in this video. But long trades, guys, are just still like, they're barely increasing. Why are they increasing? Well, I know it's because we got into the dip. That makes sense. But this is just still very, very interesting to me. Watch this over the weekend, guys. For those of us who want this to go up, I'm not going to get emotional about this, but we'll just use metrics here. If long trades fall out like they do here, we could see a nice pump in the market like this. And if that happens, guys, I will be looking to take more profit out of the Ethereum trade. Th this trade here, guys, I, when we got into ADA, I took 50% profit. I have not taken any profit on Ethereum yet, okay? I'm waiting for this to come up above our buy limit here, probably break structure high right here, get a basically a bounce. And then when we get up into the top red section again for the trend exhaustion, I am absolutely taking 25 to 50% profit. Okay. So make sure you guys have that indicator on your charts. Cause if I see this over the weekend, I'm taking 25% profit. I don't do videos over the weekend. I spend it with my family, just strict family time. It's good to take a break from trading, but here's my call guys. If this pushes up into the top section over the weekend, I'm looking to take 25% and I will be watching that. Okay. So make sure you have that on your chart. Best trade to take today. Is it long or short? It's not to take any trades today. I know this is so hard guys to sit on your hands, but it is not to take any trades. The best thing to do right now is to come over to the front page under live trades, just like all the people I showed the testimonials from come over here, click this right here. It's going to open up the page. It's going to look exactly like this, but obviously it's going to be Ethereum instead of Bitcoin. Enter your four buy limits under the current price at 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. It doesn't matter if you check then, you can check two o'clock in the afternoon or five o'clock. Just find the current price and then you guys just need to place your buy limits at the four yellow lines below there. That will end up getting you guys into the next Ethereum trade.
Okay, let's move down. Looking at well and institutional smart money, this has been one of the craziest metrics to actually call the drops and the tops in, excuse me, well, drops and tops, that's kind of the same, right? The drops and the pumps in, in the cryptocurrency. I've been pointing this out to you guys that when retail traders are very excited and greedy in the market, we see it pushed up into the top section here. Guys, the white line is the price of the security or the price of the token, okay, or coin. The blue line is the metric value. When this blue line pushes up into greedy, this is when I expect to see drops in the market and that's where we ended up getting a drop. The, the blue line and the white line are actually pretty close to each other right now. Like they're over lanes, so that's why you guys see that. But when retail traders, please hear me out guys, when retail traders, the majority of them get very greedy because they think it's gonna keep going up and up and up and they put all their money in here, this is where the wells and institutions and smart money are placing short trades on the market, okay? Not only does this metric prove it to you, but the on-chain metrics proves it as well as blockchain orders going up for short trades, okay? These metrics are so important for you guys to follow because look where we're sitting right now. We saw smart money entering into long trades. What did we do? We also traded with smart money we got in right here, okay? A lot of you guys, and let me just point this out and, and then I'll, I'll stop this little bit of a rant, but I, I'm saying this to you guys so you guys can be aware of what you're doing. When the price goes up like this, so many people get excited about entering into trades. Why do the majority of people get excited because price is going up, right? Okay, you shouldn't, uh, this is gonna be weird to say, I don't get excited about entering into trades. I don't. You've seen me enter live trades here. I'm not excited about entering into it. I just follow this like a robot. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm, I, I, to me, I really do believe I'm pretty unemotional about this, where I literally just set my buy limits. I go away for the weekend. I literally go on vacation, sorry, go on vacation, and, and I just let them get hit. I've been at the beach with my wife and with a lot of her friends, and we're literally just sitting there, and I'm having orders triggered like while we're sitting on the beach, and then my sell limit is, is hit, and then we made money. Like, it was seriously that simple, but my point is, like, when you guys are really excited in the market, please just check this before you enter trades because this is telling you what smart money is doing. They were shorting this whole time getting ready for the drop and they've made a ton of money and they're going long right now. So just watch that. All right, support resistance prices. Let's get to the good stuff of this video. Um, where are we gonna go, guys? If this thing heads back down, I am looking for a catch point right at the bottom here of about $3,000. That is the whole number. Let me get this on the chart here. The whole number of 3,000 also is where the wick value is. It's where a lot of structure supports are on the chart. I do absolutely believe that Ethereum can get down to $3,000. It's already done it before. If enough bearish pressure continues in the market and this metric over here keeps showing us that short trades increase, this is absolutely a sign that we can head down to 3,000. That is very, very good for all of us trading on this channel because we have our next buy limit set up somewhere around this area if you guys are following us, okay? Let's keep going here and we'll finish up. As far as a move up here, I'm just simply looking at structure high. So if a lot of buy volume comes into the market, first thing we have to watch, guys, is we have to look for a break of resistance. That's at 3,500, let's just call it 3,500, okay? Like I said, break, retest, and a move back up. What I'm watching for here, again, is if this comes up to the top red section, I'm looking to take 25% exit, because historically, that is calling the drops very well. Entries here, if you guys follow the Oatme on the channel, you guys were able to enter into this entry here. You guys are holding for five to 10 years. These are for diamond hand holders or just people who wanna hold for long terms. Whenever you guys get a green candle, or excuse me, a green line, you guys can enter into the market, place a thousand, ten thousand dollars in. I'm not, you know, not a financial advisor, but this is the one of the, it, 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 like really, it's the best metric I've ever found to call the bottoms of cryptocurrencies before we move back up. Okay, um, taking a look at this exit points. This, if this is such a crazy sign, guys, when you see blocks of red on the exit points, this is a strong indication you don't want to go long. I know a ton of people went long right here. Why? Because there's simply just accumulation where people went long and short and there's a lot of green candles in here. They got wiped out on their long trades. If you guys were able to watch this, this would have told you that you do not want to set up any long trades whatsoever when you get up here. I understand sometimes there's going to be a market that goes up over time. These metrics here have been true 75 to 80% of the time. Following a strategy that's 80% accurate will keep you guys in the profit. Where the metrics, listen carefully guys, where the metrics are inaccurate, where all metrics and all indicators will be, that 20 to 25% of the time, our risk management steps in and helps us out. And literally, it saves us from any type of misaccurate readings because we are dollar cost averaging in. The best thing I can share with you guys before I end this video for the weekend is to come over here, get you guys a membership. Seriously, people are making like 30 grand and like they're paying for their membership for the rest of their life and like 10 other people. So 
Get your membership here, set up your limit orders here, your buy limit orders for any of the coins you wanna trade. And I will be tracking this on the YouTube channel. If you have any questions, email me at btradeconfident um, at gmail.com and then come over here, snag the indicator so you guys can watch this because even on ADA guys, I've told this to you guys, when this thing pumps back up into the top red section, I am looking to take more profit. Okay, ADA is doing so good for us right now. Like you guys are doing amazing. Taking a look at Dogecoin, when this thing moves back up into the top right section, I'm gonna be looking to take profit. If I'm not on the videos, you guys need to be exiting yourself because I'm making these official calls right now, okay? I don't want you guys to be like, oh my gosh, when's Travis gonna come out with a video? No, I'm gonna give you guys the power here and I'm teaching you guys how to do this on your own if I don't happen to be on a video. So as Ethereum goes down here, a lot of our traders are just getting more and more excited. If, if this thing drops down here and gets to the bottom, guys, this is like a jackpot for us because our second buy limit's gonna get hit and we're gonna ride it up faster. The faster currency moves down, the rubber band effect takes place, demand sets in and it actually goes up faster the further it heads down. So this is only good news for everybody trading over here. So congrats guys, uh, real quick, I'm so sorry I keep saying it in this video. Um, all of the indicators for the retail traders, the RSI, Stochastic, MACD, and the MAs, they're all going down. This is a sign you need to see because a lot of people are following the trend right now in lower timeframes and it's dropping and they're shorting the market or they're selling. Here's what you need to be doing. When everyone is selling, you guys need to be setting up your buy orders in here because this is what it's showing us. We are seeing smart money get in here and they are going along right now. So the market's selling, they're getting fearful, they're getting anxious, we need to buy. That's what you need to do. We need to get our buy orders in when everyone's getting fearful and anxious and they're selling. That's the best thing to do, guys. Watch this, get everything set up on your charts, and I'll see you guys next video. God bless you guys so, so much. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.